two extra innings. And McNeil drives one deep right field. He fouled that 1 0 fastball straight back and got the same pitch. Three in a row. The R has already been lay, able to lay off a couple of those splitters out of the strike zone. Three and two with the bases loaded. And VR hits one of the air to left field. That'll win the game. McCutcheon watches it sail by him. In the score comes McNeil with the game winning run. And the Mets have won the opening game of the doubleheader. Jonathan VR with a walk off hit. And the Mets win it in eight innings, four to three. Well, he opted for his fastball. We said he's throwing his fastball more. VR with just a nice at bat going the other way with the infield and outfield drawn in. Carson Kelly's done a nice job behind the plate. Third baseman when he was first drafted, and they asked him to become a catcher. Lindor has just one hit with a runner in scoring position this year, one for 19. Looking to pick up Nito from second. And he drives one to left field down. Francisco Lindor's first city field home run is second as a Met and the Mets have come from four runs down to tie this game. Beyond the reach of Austin Hayes in right field that chased home Pilar with the tying run and on the air VR went to third with the winning run. Now they're more shallow in the outfield. 2-2. Two -two. And Mazika grounds one down to first. Coming home is Mancini. The slide. Save for the Mets. Win it. Mazika does it again. He drives home another winning run. The Mets rally for two in the bottom of the ninth. And they beat the Orioles 3-2. to two. <laughs> The king of the walk-off. <laughs> choice Patrick Mazika loses another uniform top he is yet to have a hit in the major leagues yet he's driven in two winning runs on this homestand with fielders choice ground balls as VR dives home with the winning run Now Snell really needs a strikeout ahead on DeGrom one and two. And he lines one to left field for a base hit. McKinney is in. Peraza being waved to him. He will score. Jacob DeGrom drives in a pair and it's 3 nothing New York. He'll stay on his toes waiting for another. One and one to Lindor. And Francisco lines one base hit. And that will tie the game. Giorme comes home. Lindor with his second hit of the day. And the Mets get even 1-1. One, one.
Lindor was all over that first fastball, pulling it foul. The slider was not even close. He gets another fastball right down the chute, and a bullet to center field. Defense of the Phillies strikes again. Alvarado asked to get five outs. He got four, but his error opened the door, and Lindor stepped the Mets right through it to get the game. Tom Dom was asked to bunt. The um, it was revealed that he had never bunted in his life. Yeah, of course not. He's the man. Well, this is shocking to me, Ronnie. Yeah, it is. I understand that we're in a different situation with the extra inning rule. It's almost like Rojas just asked Di Sarcina to talk to him in the sense that is he bunting on his own? Maybe. Okay. That could be it. Well, maybe he's just trying to set him up so he can swing away. And he swings away. I mean, that uh, would stand the record historic performance of Aaron Nola in a game that Francisco Lindor tied in the bottom of the seventh with two outs, and Dominic Smith is money against left handed pitching. One two coming to Conforto, and he lines one to center field. Herrera. Makes the catch. Here comes McKinney. Here comes the throw by Herrera. Save for the Mets. Win it. Michael Conforto with a walk off sacrifice fly as the Mets rally for two in the bottom of the ninth and beat the Phillies four to three. Second. And McNeil lines one base hit. Lindor is in. Here comes Smith. Here comes Bradley's throw to the plate on the hop. Not in time, and the Mets win it. Jeff McNeil with his first career walk-off RBI as the Mets rally in the seventh, and they rally in the eighth, and they've taken the first two games of the series from Milwaukee as they win this one four to three. Gutsy effort uh, by the Mets in this game. Gutsy effort by McNeil. He hasn't had a lot to cheer. Full shift on against Lindor. Shortstop hole open. And he smacks one to deep left center field. Back in the gap goes Gamble near the wall. It's out of here. Grand slam, Francisco Lindor. The Mets' first grand slam of the season. And they put up double digits in the bottom of the sixth. A 10 run inning, and it's 12 to 2 New York. Third career grand slam for Lindor. Putting the hammer down on an enormous inning for New York. Here's Castellanos with that wrap on his right wrist where he was hit by a pitch on Friday. Hasn't played since. But he'll be due uh, a turn at bat if anybody gets on in the bottom of the 11th. 
Pilar hits oh. one of the air to deep left field. Back goes Aquino near the wall. It's out of here! Kevin Pilar with a three-run homer. And the Mets lead it 14 to 10. Sixth home run of the night for the Mets and Pilar with a cookie topper. Ninth home run of the year for Pilar and none bigger and the Mets have a four run lead in the 11th. Well if we know that Hendricks concentrates on throwing a curveball so does Kevin Pilar sits on it gets a bad one deep into the night. Conforto two for five tonight including a two and homer and he slugs one to deep right center forget that. That is way out of here. Back to back home runs for the Mets for the second time tonight. Pilar and Conforto back to back and it's 15 to 10. Seven home runs tonight for the Mets including two for Conforto. Five extra base hits now for Conforto in the last three games three home runs with two here tonight. Fastball right down Broadway. 419. Two out for McNeil. Jeff is one for two in this game. And he smacks one to deep center field. That goes for Radio. Going back. Warning track. It's over his head. It stays in play. That will enable Nimmo to come home with the first run of the game. Jeff McNeil unloads an RBI double. The Mets have their first run of the day, and it's 1 0 New York in the fifth. It came ever so close to bouncing over the wall. If it had, Nimmo would have had to stop at third, but it stayed in, and Nimmo races home with the game's first run. No. Alonzo at first and two out and Baez gets one in the air yep. left field. Winker going back looking up and it's out of here. Javi Baez with a two run homer. A towering shot. His first home run is a New York Met coming in his first game for the Mets. And Baez gets the Mets right back in and it's four to three. One two coming to Drury and he pokes one the other way yep. base hit Pilar the third he's being waved around Winker with the throw to the plate Pilar scores and the Mets win it Brandon Drury with a walk off hit and the Mets win it in 10 5 to 4. Two O coming and Alonzo hits a high fly ball to left back goes Stevenson to the warning track at the wall and it's out of here. Pete Alonzo wins it with a towering walk off home run. That home run brought rain and it brings the Mets a sweep of the double header and the three game series. Number 25 for Alonzo. And the Mets pull off their ninth walk-off win of the year. Alonzo goes deep. The jersey comes off. And the Mets win it 5-4. to four. Mets hit him hard the first time they saw him a couple of weeks ago. Conforto to pinch hit. Michaels one for seven as a pinch hitter this year. Tying run McNeil at second. Pilar at first with one out. And Conforto hits a rocket out to left center field. Back goes Thomas to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here. Michael Conforto with a pinch hit three run homer. And the Mets are in front. Number nine for Michael Conforto, a three run homer, and the Mets lead it five to three.
And now Conforto, who has been as frustrated today as we have ever seen him, smashing his bat in the dugout after his last at bat when he popped up with two men on. He gets another chance. Conforto's 0 for 4 today, 2 for his last 27. Alonzo the tying run at third. Baez the winning run at first, two out. And Conforto slashes one the other way. Base hit. That ties the game. Alonzo in. Baez digging for third. It's kicked by Alfaro. Here comes Baez trying to score. He scores. And the Mets win it. Turn those thumbs around. Javi Baez races home with the winning run. And the Mets win it 6-5. to five. A storybook finish at City Field. Javi Baez vilified for 48 hours, made his apologies today, heard the boos from the crowd, but in the bottom of the ninth inning, he races home with the winning run off the hit by Michael Conforto, and the Mets somehow pull one out of the fire with a five-run bottom of the ninth, and they defeat the Marlins six to five. Lonzo, the tying run at third. Baez, the winning run at first. Two out. And Conforto slashes one the other way. Base hit. That ties the game. Lonzo's in. Baez taking for third. And it's kicked by Alfaro. Here comes Baez trying to score. And he scores. The Mets win it. Turn those thumbs around. Javi Baez races home for the winning run. And the Mets win it. Six to five. Nimmo at first with two out. And Conforto smacks it to deep right field. Forget it. Into the second deck. Michael Conforto with a bomb in the Mets lead 2 0. Number 10 for Conforto, and he just whacked it. So fresh off his big hit in the ninth inning earlier today. Conforto builds on it with an impressive home run to put the Mets on top. And Alonzo Rockets won to deep left center field. Forget that. That is way out of here. Pete Alonso is 100th career home run. Number 31 of the year, two run shot for Alonso. He's homered in back to back games. He's hit triple digits for his career, and the Mets have the early lead in Miami as they score in the first inning for a fifth straight game. Base is still loaded for McNeil. And Jeff drags a bunt, gets it past the pitcher, and that'll bring it a run. How about that? Jeff McNeil drag bunt, four to two Mets. Talk about the element of surprise. Very wide, smart play. Got a left hand pitcher, falls off the mound of the third base side. This is textbook. Textbook. Make the second baseman or first baseman field it. Rizzo clears, bases open. Another run for the Mets.
And that's driven to deep left field. Forget that. Lindor started this game with an RBI single and gives the Mets insurance with a two run homer. 19th home run of the year for Lindor. His second in two games. And now the Mets have some breathing room. It's 5 to 2, New York. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming to McCann. And James dribbles one back to the mound. Bias trying to score. It's fumbled and the Mets win it. Bias running on contact on a ball back to the mound. Bass couldn't handle it cleanly and the Mets sweep the doubleheader. It's been a day of Javi Baez making things happen and he does it again as he comes home with a winning run and the Mets win it two to one in nine. Uh, St. Louis has them right where they want them. Yeah they'll, they'll, they'll win. They, they win every day. Uh oh. 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 Drives that one is that's well struck. Out of here. Ouch. And gone. That was crushed. 13th of the year for Conforto to put the Mets Oh, the little kid up. caught it. That's fantastic. And he had another ball in his glove anyway. <laughs> That's the greatest. You see that little kid? Yeah. Oh, my God. I love that. I mean, you bring your glove. You hope. How many times do you have to bring it? <laughs> Every time. Yeah. I guess, you know? <laughs> I mean, I went to... 500 games as a kid, I caught one ball. Wow, that's so good. you know you keep bringing the glove, and every once in a while, right? So it's like, why do you run hard to first base on the ball back to the mound? You might throw it away. Mm -hmm. I mean, a bomb. That is a long home run. Straight away, Gary, get the uh, exit velo on that ball, would you? I'll get you what I 111. can. 111. <laughs> Boy, Conforto. Lindor is 0 for 3 in a walk. And he drives one to deep right field, headed back toward the wall. It's out of here. A grand slam for Francisco Lindor. That one blows the doors off. It's 10 to 3, New York. 20th home run of the year for Lindor. His second grand slam this season. The Mets putting a capper on their home schedule with a big blow from Lindor.